What's up guys, this is Android at Night and today I'm going to show you how you can play Tegra 2 games on any Android phone um, for free. So first thing I'm going to show you is trying to play a Tegra 2 game, so Samurai Vengeance 2 on my Galaxy S2 and this is without doing the thing I'm about to show you and as you can see it really really doesn't like it. So it's sort of gone a bit mental, so it's actually going to open now what it says unable to start and it closes itself so I'm going to show you how you can get around that and it's really easy to do <coughs> sorry, you need to go to the market and download an application called Chainfire 3D and you can then open that um, run through the process when you first download it you need to go to this option here, hit CF3D CF3D driver, tap it and you can then install it and once you've done that you need to get the plugins um, and they don't come with the application because I think it's sort of slightly illegal to actually use them and distribute them um, so to get around that I will post a thing in the description with something that may or may not have links to those drivers but I'm not going to give you like the mega upload um, I'll just give you links to threads which then encompass the downloads just so the video doesn't get pulled or whatever but um, they're fairly easy to find and if you can't find them just message me and I might might send you the uh, link to find them but as you can see I've got the Qualcomm, the Power VGR, oh good and then a video one um, so you download them and install them and you want to hit fix market settings and that will then fool the market into thinking that your device um, is a Tegra device, is a Snapdragon one and has the other all the different graphics things so pretty much every application will show up and then you need to go to per app open GL settings and I'm going to go to recently used applications because I did just recently open Samurai 2 Vengeance I'm going to click it untick use default scroll down and I'm going to hit use plugin and Nvidia because it's a Nvidia game and then it's back out of Chainfire and I'm going to find Samurai Vengeance 2 and attempt to open it again and this should, through the magic of Android hackery, now open as you can see and I'll just quickly throw here, quickly show you that it does in fact work <clears throat> I apologise for my voice at the moment guys, I've recently had quite a bad cold so I'm sort of still carrying that but um, I'll just quickly show you you can see it working and uh, it did lag a little, there's sort of a couple of drop frames there to the start. That for some reason always happens. I played through the game a few times, well not the whole game, this level. And for some reason at the start it drops like two frames and then everything else is really, really smooth. And you probably cannot tell with the camera because it's a bit fuzzy and crap. But it looks really, really, really nice. And it's nice to know that um, phones that are better than the Tegra phones can actually play the Tegra games. Because we all know the Galaxy S2 is far superior to anything that NVIDIA can throw at us. I'm joking. But um, that, by the by, you can use this to play any game on any phone, so you can try it on whatever you want, really. I mean, have a bash, try it on your Hero or something. I really, really doubt it'll play, but there are a lot of settings you can sort of fiddle around with um, if you're interested in that sort of thing to um, like reduce the texture size and things like that. So you just have a mess with those. And the other thing that comes with it is this thing called Night Mode which is kinda cool and you can choose a colour so I'm gonna go red and you hit night mode and it gives everything this red hue and it's supposed to be better in the dark for looking out on your eyes um, supposed to conserve battery life or something I just think it's quite cool just to mess around with um, and you can install it on your mate's phone and really freak them out <coughs> but that's just me being an immature geek but that's Chainfire 3D and that's how you can play Tegra 2 games on your Galaxy S2 or any other Android phone or in fact tablet. I had this running my Nook Color earlier which was quite impressive considering it's just supposed to be an e-reader. Um, but yeah, if you've got any questions about the plugins or any of the setup just uh, throw me a comment or a PM if you sort of need more help and I will get back to you as soon as I can. So this has been Tech Zero Sticky as Glue aka Android at Night. <coughs> I think I'm going to have a lie down because I think I might be dying. See you next time. Ta-ra.